All right, Oval and Have and Have Not fans, keep in mind this is just a fun speculation video. So first off, don't go in the comments saying, bro, you crazy. Oh, Jeremy must be running out of ideas. No, not really. I, I literally have a list of like 17 videos in front of me. This is just a fun one. And I really didn't notice this until earlier this week. And if you follow me on Instagram, if you haven't, then you're missing out. We got over 17,000 followers. Uh, links to my social media accounts are in the description. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff down below. I made a post uh, with a side-by-side -side comparison. I didn't notice this until recently, but Wyatt and Hunter actually favor each other quite a lot. I mean, in the facial features and the hair. And I think a fun little theory, given the fact that we know that, hell, Catherine was giving it up to David on their, uh, her wedding night to Jim. And then we know that twice, twice, Veronica and Jim did it as well. And it's like people keep speculating. Are they just making it up? Is it Witty Banner? No, I think they literally were serious. I got an entire video where I talk about that. I posted a few days ago. Catherine and David did what? Yeah, I've all, yeah that video is up. But I think it could be a fun theory in two ways. Number one, what if Catherine and Hunter you know, did it before in the past, because remember, Hunter was a governor before he got to the White House, not to mention the gap between Hunter um, being in college, meeting Victoria, getting married, getting, I guess you could say, spruced up for the world of politics, and then, you know, working his way from governor, what is it, was it eight years as governor before he became president? Look, I forgot. It's been a while. I know they broke it down, but forgive me. The Oval has been off the air for a few weeks, and yeah, stuff kind of runs together for me in a blur. So we know that he's been in the political game for a while, and then, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. And I know this is like brain-busting fan fiction-ish stuff. It's like, man, this is your head cannon. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, given that, you know, Catherine's father was pretty powerful, and then you have... Um, Victoria's family heavily involved in politics, law, and all that good stuff. It wouldn't be a stretch to say that in a what if kind of blending of both shows continuity, that Catherine may have known or met Hunter through her father or some along those lines, and those two did it. And I would be based on Hunter's demeanor and how the it seems like the women he um, tends to pick. It may have been in Catherine's younger days or because kind of like Jim Hunter saw the potential of a lot of money to be made from Catherine. But given Catherine Cryer's attitude, I don't think that um, Victoria would have been able to, you know, attack her the way she did Denise because Victoria and Catherine. Look, Victoria and um, Veronica, easy comparisons. But Victoria's demeanor and Catherine's stubbornness, those two go hand in hand if you ask me. But um, I think that it would be funny if like, oh my God, Wyatt isn't the real son of Jim Cryer, but he's the son of Hunter Franklin or in a twist. What if in a alternate dimension or alternate continuity, because technically it is because as far as I know, there is no connection between the oval and the haves and the have nots, two different shows, two different networks, almost like Marvel and DC. So it's kind of like, what if the oval was written in a way that Hunter is like a future version of Wyatt, where Wyatt eventually gets out of jail, gets cleaned up, and is forced into politics or basically a career in law like his parents, you know, want him to be on in regards to anything but you being in jail and doing drugs. So he follows in his father's footsteps, gets into law, becomes a judge, or and then eventually governor, and then the White House because the powers that be push him into that position. I can see it happening. And again, this is just a fun little, <clears throat> excuse me, this is just a fun little um, video to kind of, uh, you know, shift gears for a change because the Oval is going to be all for a couple more months and Hunter and Wyatt do favor each other a lot. So I'm just saying, but with that being said, you know, that would be pretty crazy if Catherine got knocked up by the future president. Hmm. Mind you of anything, Candace and Charles. So. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this fun little video theory, what if, whatever you want to call it. And give the video a thumbs up. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. So thanks so much for tuning in. And I need to get to work on another video.